When I did my review <clears throat> of WWE Super Showdown last week, I thought it was a little bit cheaty. Okay, who am I kidding? It was a complete and utter cheat. But, well, we're doing the exact same thing today, ladies and gentlemen. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to this. It's episode 37, I want to say, of the Classic Wrestling Series. And we are here today with WWE's Stomping Ground. Oh, boy. I am so not looking forward to this one, ladies and gentlemen. I did watch the pay-per-view live. I do have my notes to the side of me. Ladies and gentlemen, we were in Tacoma, Washington at the Tacoma Dome. 6,000 fans watched this. That is mental. 6,000. Wow, you can tell how bad WWE has gotten recently. Shit the bed, guys. Holy fuck. So, guys, let's get to the first match of the Triple Threat Cruiserweight title match. Let's watch that. Okay, everything I said originally about uh, Stomping Grounds maybe being bad. Uh, yeah, this one was a damn good match. Drew Gulak, Tony Nese, and Akira Tosawa in a Triple Threat match. This was fucking awesome. Uh, for the pre-show... Yeah, should have been on the pre-show. Should not have been on the pre-show. This this match should have been this match should have been at least third from the last match. Uh, they should have taken Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre out and put this match in that slot because this was a fucking good match. So yeah, really, really good match. And Drew Gulak winning. Um, really wanted to see Tony needs to go more with the title, but hey, he's got the chase again. So yeah, let's go into it. You know, I'll be confused. So, ladies and gentlemen, the main events kicking uh, the main cards kicking off with Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans. So we've gone from the high of the cruiserweight title to the low of this. Oh my word! I love, I love Becky Lynch. I think Becky Lynch is an amazing performer. Um, but fuck me, these two just do not gel well together. I don't think. I'm sorry, they don't gel well. I genuinely believe these two should not be feuding uh, at all anymore. I really think they should not be feuding. Um, it was an okay match. Uh, Becky wins by submission. So next up, guys, we'll have the tag team match. So we just had the match with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus the New Day's Big E and Xavier Woods. Uh, this match was okay. Um, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, uh, the New Day can go. Uh, Sami Zayn is acting weird. Um, I don't mind that he's on the pay-per-view. I really don't, but he's acting weird. Just stop, mate. Really, just stop and be a heel. Um, but yeah, he's taking chicken shit and turning it into chicken, you know, chicken leader. It's a very, very good idea. And seeing Sammy turn heel, yeah, it's actually quite cool. So, next up is going to be Ricochet versus Samoa Joe. This is a match that we've not seen. Please be good. Please. Holy Ricochet versus Samoa Joe. What a good match. To be honest, I think this one should have opened the show. Uh, sounds bad, I know. But a high-octane match and Ricochet winning and becoming the US champion. I'm sold. And for them to tease AJ Styles later on in the show as well. Fucking brilliant. Next up, guys, uh, we've got Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus Heavy Machinery. Let's keep this ball going. This is actually surprising me. Let's see if they can keep it up. So we just had Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus Heavy Machinery. And again, another really good tag team match. I think this is one of the best. I think this is the better tag team match uh, of the night. Uh, Heavy Machinery were damn good. This is actually my first time viewing them. Uh, me, they've impressed me. Daniel Bryan and Rowan getting cheered and, uh, Heavy Machine we getting booed. Well, we're in, we're in Washington State, so, of course, Daniel Bryan's gonna get cheered no matter what. Uh, but yeah, this was a good match. So, next up, we've got Bailey versus Alexa Bliss with Nikki Cross for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So, we just had ba uh, Bailey versus Alexa Bliss, and this one was surprisingly good, especially with the story between Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. These two are just friends, and they're going in. Uh, this one could turn into a good storyline, if done correctly, and could turn Nikki into a like a main eventer for the women's title, if they do it right. Um, yeah, I think, you know, Nikki Cross is brilliant. Um, a brilliant character. Definitely just with a chicken shit heel. Um, she's a, br you know, again, she's a brilliant character. Um, and yeah, it's a really, really good thing. This is the better match out of the two women's title matches, I think. 
Um, quite surprisingly and weirdly not seeing Charlotte Flair on the card because I would have thought that Charlotte Flair would have had a rematch for the title, but apparently not yet. So yeah, uh, let's go next to the Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre with Shane McMahon match. Please, for the love of God, be good, Roman. Please, mate. I know you can be good. And we've just had Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre, and again, surprisingly, this match was good from Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre can go, and Roman, when he's paired with the right guy, my God, his charisma shows. This is, a, you know, this is so nice to see Roman Reigns not being booed as much. Um, we do get the Let's Go Roman, Roman, such chance. But to be fair, this was really good. I thought this was an okay match and definitely worthy um, of being, you know, being on the card. I think it was a good match. Next up, guys, we have Kofi Kingston versus uh, Dolph Ziggler. I've never been the biggest fan of Dolph Ziggler, but my god, this character, this heel character is blowing me out the water. This one is, um, this, this match was good. It was a great storytelling of, you know, trying to escape and then going for the pin and then going for the submission and doing all that. And an awesome way on how Kofi retained by diving over Dolph to basically get the title back. That was really, really good, I thought. And that was a great way to end that match. Um... For, you know, for this, for the semi-main, I don't know. I may have switched this either with the Roman Reigns, Drew, Mc, Drew McIntyre uh, match, or maybe even Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. That's me being honest, guys. Next up, Seth Rollins versus Baron Corbin with a special guest referee. Let's watch this one. So we just had Baron Corbin versus Seth Rollins for the title, and... I'm really fucking conflicted right now. Um, the match was decent. But Lacey Evans being the special guest referee pissed me off to no end. This, this, I don't mind, I don't mind Lacey Evans being the manager, uh, the, um, Special guest referee. In fact, it plays into the story and builds up uh, builds up Lacey versus Becky. I think that's a good idea. But fuck me. This lass is a fucking annoying. This lass is a fucking annoying. This was go away heat. And I like I like Evans. I think Evans is a decent wrestler, but love, no offense. The gimmick is fucking stupid to a degree. It's the old-fashioned, like, the 60s, um, you know, w you know, women can do it better, well, fair enough. But it's just, it does not suit your character. It really doesn't, and I may, get hate, I may get hate for that one. But at first, I enjoyed it, I liked it, but now it's just like, this makes no fucking sense. Like, this genuinely makes no sense. To a point where I literally had to mute it because it was like, oh, it's now no count out. Now it's no disqualification. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off, Lacey. You don't make the rules. Becky coming out and basically saving her boyfriend. They were building up. They were building Becky Lynch's and Seth Rollins' relation up as well, which really pissed me off as well because that shit's private, motherfuckers. You know, that shit should be private. Um, but no, I mean, it was a, <laughs> the match itself was decent, the bullshit surrounding it was fucking annoying, and especially when it came to Lacey Evans being the referee, I will say now that Lacey Evans is one of the worst special guest referees that ever has, ref has ever put on the striped shirt, I will say that now. But the match was decent. The match was a good match between Baron Corbin and Seth Rollins. We now have the Extreme Rules mixed tag team match. Hopefully that will be a gimmick match. Um, Extreme Rules, maybe, I don't know. But, yeah. As a way to kill this feud and hopefully get Baron Corbin and Lacey Evans out of the title picture, fucking please happen. Because this match was fucking good. But Lacey is a fucking annoying. So, what do I think of the show overall? Um... Surprisingly good. Uh, the opener was a bit meh, and the main event was a bit meh, but that's all Lacey. I do apologise. I, I know I'm shitting on her, but I do apologise. Um, the show was surprising. 
it, they managed to turn, you know, every single performer managed to turn chicken shit into chicken Caesar salad. It was very impressive. Um, the work rate, you know, even though the company's going through some fucking hard times recently, the work rate just shows, and you can just see the performances and just the brilliantness shine through. It's like Seth, you know, it's like R-Truth with the 24-7 title. This was a good show with some decent, re you know, with some very good wrestling. Uh, match of the night, definitely Ricochet versus uh, Samoa Joe. That match was fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, the opener was a bit flat, and like I said, the main event was a bit flat. That was all due to Lacey. I'm sorry, but Lacey just should not have been the main, the fucking special referee. Anybody. Hell, fuck it, Paul Heyman should have been the referee. You know, shit like that. So guys, uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. I mean, like I say, you you got to go into Lacey versus Becky a bit, um, you know, you got to take that one with a pinch of salt. It's not the best match that these two have had. And you got to go into the main event knowing that Lacey is the special guest referee. But bar that, guys, yeah, it was a good match. And definitely the, uh, the Cruiserweight Triple Threat match, fucking solid. So, guys, I will see you next week for the next episode of the Classic Wrestling Series. Take care, have a good night, and hopefully we'll see you at the bar. Catch you on the flip side.